Call the order. Ready? Yeah. Mr. Dorrance? Present. Mr. Hazen? Mr. Aubin? Here. Mr. Endy? Here. Mr. Smith? Here. And Mrs. Russell? Anybody see any problem in the minutes? I did not. I read them online. Mm -hmm. I read them here. I'm sorry, sorry Jeff. I didn't mean that. No, oh, that's okay. Went, everybody was talking with Josh. I didn't realize your name was first here. Jeff. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. That's even better. Somebody want to make a motion to approve? I make a motion to approve the minutes. <laughs> Mr. Dorrance? Yes. Mr. Aubin? Yes. Mr. Envy? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. And Mrs. Russell? Yes. Twenty three oh one. Josh or Gwen Veer, would you like to tell us about your project? <laughs> sure. Uh, I just want to uh, open up a like a detailing shop. It's a twenty four by thirty. Just uh, want to work it by myself. Single owner. We did do a DBA prior to knowing that we had to do this, <laughs> so he does have a DBA yeah. open um, and. Um, one vehicle a day is what he's looking to do. He's not really looking to get too crazy, just to sustain mm -hmm. income and uh, have something in his experience level because he's detailed for about 20 years. So he's just uh, looking to expand, get some more hours at home with the family and make yeah, more money yeah. probably than what he did at his employer. Sure. Howard, what, what zone is this property in? I was looking at the map, but I couldn't find it. No, no, no big map yet. <laughs> I couldn't find Rabbit Street on it. Uh, Rabbit Street is uh, going up through Woods Mills. Is that the main right before Harney Bridge? Yeah. It's the main drag. <laughs> main drag, yeah. <laughs> through through Woods Mills. Go down to Rabbit Street. Sand Road turns it down like a Rabbit Street. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got it. You got it? Mm -hmm. So that'd be in our R1 zone, looks like. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> yes. It is an R1. Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> the reason why I was asking was <coughs> what it sounds like um, Mr. Baker and um, Mrs. Gertrude Cochran want to do is sounds similar to basically a home occupation to some extent. Yeah. However, just reading the criteria of home occupation, I think because you're using essentially all of the garage essentially for this, or a large percentage of the garage, sounds like, for your business, right, Josh? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so that probably exceeds the limitation that's set in, under home occupation. But for the most part, it meets <coughs> most of the other criteria. It's one employee. Um, do you anticipate having a sign or anything there? I wanted a sign, yeah. Okay, so you just need to make sure the sign meets with you know whatever the yeah, sign yeah, requirements yeah. are with the are with the town. Yeah. Um, um, no outside storage of anything. This doesn't sound like right. No. Okay. And I think not going to queue up five cars for this week's detailing in the no, on the grass. They're typically in and out the same day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you just usually have like one a day essentially? One a day. Yeah. Pretty much. So okay. So you, you bring it in. You serve. You detail it. It goes out, and you're, that's basically. 
there's no cars waiting, that type of thing. No. Okay. Um, and from your description in your application, the garage is like in a, in a fenced area. Yeah. So it can, the, the cars can pull right in and see it. So it's not going to, it's not going to look anything different than like it does now. So no. Yeah. yeah. No. We have no. a. And you actually have a gate. Once you pull in, close the, the, close the gate, and you can't see anything. And well, you can, you can, but it's a, it's. Like a barn gate. It's, it's yeah. a, like a barn gate. So. Oh, okay. You, know, you can see through it, but I. Having the one car in there is not gonna. No, that doesn't change anything. It's pretty far off the road. Yeah. It's a good location. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, what, what about like hours of operation, Josh? You know, the thoughts are. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, just during the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll do weekdays, and it depends on when people are able to drop off their vehicle, or if he's picking their vehicle up for them, or how that works, depending yeah. on who he does it for. Right. I think but the only concern there will be, you know. Five o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning. Oh no! Yeah, we, yeah, something. you don't. He's want in it. bed by eight p.m. So that probably wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, so you, and, I mean, yeah, just from like, and, yeah. and, and not let, like it sounds like there's gonna be a lot of noise generated, obviously, but you know, yeah, you don't want to do it really early yeah. for your yeah. neighbors. Yeah. You want to do it late for your neighbors. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, well, you have a nice eight shop. to five. Yeah, 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 that's that that's a good idea. You aren't gonna hear nothing inside yeah. that garage. That's mm -hmm. nice. I would think eight to five is like the he'd be done way before that. But just okay. that's um, uh, I'm gonna be people. washing, etc. Got some kind of way to deal with the runoff from that. I, I usually use the car wash on. Uh, oh, okay. You're not doing this yourself in the garage or no, uh, no or on, I don't have any drains or nothing. Or on your or on your drive yeah. or on your driveway or whatever. I mean, I do have a hose and a pressure <laughs> sure. washer for like the mats and stuff. But usually, I use the car wash down the street. Yeah, so not no car washing at the house or anything like no. that. Well, yeah, just, then, if, you were doing, if you were doing that, I was just going to be concerned with, okay, let's not let the soap go into the ground. Go, yeah, in, yeah, go yeah, yeah. too yeah. crazy yeah. with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, unless we had some kind of you know, capture, dry well, whatever system for it. Yeah, I mean, as, as far as, like like you said, detailing and stuff, I mean, like the sand, the dirt, are you going to kind of be vacuuming it up and then disposing of it, essentially? Yeah. 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 That's what's happening? Yeah, I just dump out my vacuum in the Yeah. Garbage. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wax, so, polish, so, wipe so, down, et cetera. Yeah, is there chemicals or anything involved, Josh, or no? Just like uh, simple green, it's all natural. Okay. Uh, Armor all, clean Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't use anything too harsh. Mm. So Howard, um, just looking at the map again, <coughs> let me just look at the map again, Howard Street. I'm just thinking Quinn, Quinn County Planning Board, the only thing I can see where it is, because Rabbit Street's just a town road, so right. it doesn't trigger that. No. Is it within 500 feet of the town boundary or anything? Of or no? I don't believe it is. Which is the other side of Hart's Gravel, I believe. Yep. <coughs> So the question is, are they within five? What, what, the what about the, no, the north would be town? No, the north town would be the hard gravel side. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. Across the river is across the river. That's yeah. way further. There's quite yeah. a bit of woods in between us and yeah. hard gravel. There's more than 500 feet. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Okay, from the town of Plasterville. Yeah, yeah. So, we, yeah yep. so we don't need to send okay. it to just the county. I just started to tell when yeah. looking at the map. Yeah. nothing for the county. So. No, I can. I, can, I grew up in Katie Hill, so yeah, yeah they're well over 500 feet. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure we didn't miss something there. Okay. Now, can instead of a use variance, can we declare this a home occupation and do it that way? I don't think it meets the criteria of home occupation okay. because because of the percentage of that of the garage that's going to be used. It says no more than twenty five percent of the floor area of the accessory structure shall be used as a home occupation. It sounds like it's more like sixty or sixty five. Yeah, yeah. So what size is your place? Twenty four by thirty. Okay, so I mean you meet most seven hundred feet and the car is how big? <laughs> yeah. I mean you well yeah, but I'm just saying they're gonna use more. Right, I understand. <laughs> it, 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 I mean most of the other criteria sounds like you you would right. meet quite honestly. Yeah, so that's what I was just seeing if we could just But then it's then, so then so, and it's not an area change we can make then in this case. To make it a home occupation, since so that's a square footage piece. Yeah, no, I don't think so. The use, it comes still comes down to use whether it meets the criteria. Very much a special use permit. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, technically, if it became a home occupation in an R one zone, it's actually a permitted use. 
So you wouldn't technically need anything. That's why I was asking if we could rule that we deem this <laughs> to meet the criteria and get around the the use variance part. Doing a full use variance. I, again, unfortunately, the 25% the, the thing is in there as a problem. If the garage was attached to the home, then you take the square footage of the entire two buildings, or? No, it says, uh, what it talks about is no more than 25, if say it was gonna be in the house, no more than 25% of the gross floor area of such residence shall be used for the conduct of a home occupation. And it says no more than 25% of the floor area of an accessory structure shall be used for a home occupation. Even with like home occupation, I think as Josh mentioned earlier, I mean he's the only one going to be the only, right. the only no. employee. So in home occupation, it either is you or or no more than one person other than members of the immediate family occupying such dwelling right. shall be employed. So that would qualify. That limit that limits. I mean, the limits how many people can work there, anyways. But so in the future, he would be allowed to have one employee, though, if we deemed it a home occupation. It, yeah, I mean. Yeah, it doesn't sound like he wants to do that though. Either. It's just something else to deal with, right? Yeah. And you got to pay for like uh, workers' comp and mm -hmm. all that stuff. That's true. <clears throat> Unless it's like Baker and Son. Yeah. Well, I think family member though. Members of the family can. <laughs> so not more well, than one person other than family. Other than family. Than members of the immediate family <laughs> occupying such dwelling. So once he moves out, then he's an employee. Right. <laughs> we got a long wait since only yeah. eight weeks old. So. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, just, just saying. All right. So next year he'll yeah, be. Yeah. Next year he'll be doing hubcaps. Got right yeah. in his hand. Yep. No, I think it's still. I mean, because of that amount, I think it's still technically a, a use variance. We have to use speaker too. Somebody has questions. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so we need to deem what we can. Correct. <laughs> Pardon? We need to deem lead agency for safety. Yeah, right. Once we get to the yep. point, just trying to figure out how to get the use variance. You have any sheds? I have a couple. Yeah. How big? Uh, one's like twelve by twelve, and the other one's like falling down. <laughs> we have a 12 by 12 can, you all, can you put all your clean stuff in that 12 by 12? No. Because she, it's her shed. It's my, I'm a preschool <laughs> teacher and it's my yeah. fault. Could you? Yeah, but flip flop. Could, could, could you? What he's saying is. He could, yes, he could, could, yes. Store your things in there. Yeah. But, okay, and yeah. then you only use less square footage in the garage. And then you're only using the square footage to hold the car. car in the garage. Because then you can. Because if right. you, don't, you don't need no permit, permit for a structure as a shed. And then it is a shed, right? Yeah. Not one. Well, you do it. It's a new one. Yeah. It's and it's over 100 yeah. feet, 96 feet, whatever the magic number is. But it's an existing. But that would cut your square feet down inside. Yeah. What's work? the big difference? Because like, he's what, taking up so much per footage. No, I know, but what's the big difference? Use between variance them? has very strict requirements for yeah. granting. So, so with the use variance, yeah, technically, what a use variance is is basically you're asking the board to approve something that the zoning ordinance says can't be there unless you meet the very specific test, which is like some economic hardship. Um, that it's not going to change the character of the neighborhood, which doesn't, right. doesn't sound like it is. Um, that for some, somehow the property is somewhat unique, which 
you probably can make some argument that it's not a self-created hardship, which, you know, you're probably okay. I mean, that's a, again, these are all up to the board to decide. The economic hardship is, is the difficult one because you have to show some kind of dollars and cents loss of a loss if, if for some reason you're not, you're not allowed to do it. And I yeah. think I think what you're argu you've argued in your papers is that essentially, you know, whether Josh is working right now or not working, this is something that's obviously going to be more of a benefit to him, to you, to both of you, um, to be able to operate out of your house, operate out of that structure. Um, so I, I, I you, the economic hardship is always the most difficult element generally, right. well, generally to me. But the other one is that no other possible use <laughs> could generate. <laughs> Right. Similar. <laughs> right. So that's it's always the most difficult one to get. Now, on the flip side, where we said, okay, we call it a home occupation, if you can meet all the requirements of the definition of a home occupation, home occupations in the zone in which you're located was the RR1 zone is a permitted use, meaning you can do it. Right. Where you don't need any permit. You can just do it. Right. Right. Gotcha. So that's why we're, we're looking at the criteria to say, okay, is there a way of perhaps bringing it under a home occupation, um, if you can meet the criteria where you can call it that, rather than trying to, I guess, analyze the requirements of a use fairness right. okay. to see if you meet those. That's, that's really the difference between the two. Okay. Because <coughs> you want to get a one car, put down the square book? Yeah, I mean, I really only use like half my garage. So yeah, like, what's the number, 20%? Yeah. 25. 25%. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Like as, so. as soon as you pull into my garage, it's a small bay. Yeah. Yeah. I think I have one bench right there, my air compressor, my vacuum, chemicals on my bench, and that's pretty much it. Okay. I have a question about the, uh, the, the home <coughs> occupied, um, and may or may not apply to this. So if I want to start a printing shop in my own home, right? So. That would take the square footage of my entire house, and I wouldn't be allowed to use more than twenty-five for the printing for the, for that yeah. portion. Of it. Yeah. So Correct. with this, um, would the total square footage be based on their house plus garage? No, unfortunately, it's garage unfortunately, it's worded by building in the ordinance. Yeah. The way if e the ordinance either wanted, residence or accessory yeah. structure, which would be the garage. Yeah. Okay. If so the, it can't be both. It has to be one. Yeah. Or the other. If it, if the ordinance was worded yeah, differently, that'd be a different like story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I got a hot tub in that corner, I got a in that corner. So if you did that, you're only using, what is that, about 20 or 15 percent? Yeah. If you do it? Yeah. So your hot tub's back here, right? No, my wood stove. Wood stove? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sean? Yeah. My wood stove right here. My hot tub right here. And then it's like our, our, our personal tool bench over on yes. the other side. And that's Good, good that's yours. Part, right? Well, no, it's... Uh, but you know, like my garage door is right yeah. here, and this is pretty much right. Yeah, because we don't have any kind of breakdown of what's like inside the garage. Oh, well, that helps. I, I mean, that, from what we yeah, do so in the application. Right, right, yes, so, no, yeah. Because you weren't yeah. asking. That's for, no, for yeah, yeah. yeah. But now, right. I'd like to verify that's what's in there. Yes. <laughs> I did go in there. I could pretty much pull a Chevy Silverado in, and that's all the room you got. Pretty much right there. So what's the total square footage of the garage? Oh, 24 by 30. You're talking 20, plus one Roughly million. 750, not quite yet. <laughs> That's small. Yeah, it's a perfect garage, you know, I'm not sure at all. So what we would need to do is get the square footage that you use down to 240, I think. So it's a common vehicle. Yeah, it's a vehicle. That's it, he's good. You gotta just tell us you're moving the supplies out of there that you're, that you're gonna We're pull those from. Sheds. You're pulling them from somewhere else. <laughs> How big is the garage, Jason? Again, I'm sorry. 24 by 30. The garage was attached. Bingo. That would be yeah, he's good. Yeah, if garage was attached, then it'd be a building, and you could do it that way. But 
Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. Kind of. yeah. Even, that, 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 that's interpretive. Also attach it, Even if it's attached, technically, it's still can be somewhat of an accessory structure to the house. I mean, you know. Yeah. So, you know, if you take 25% of 720, you got like 180 square feet. Um, it's a 9 by 20 car. <laughs> Cars are smaller than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you go to full size. Yeah. I mean, a Silverado is probably 21 foot, but they're only six foot wide. Okay, right. so so if we can, um, the other the other thing, Howard, and tell me if I'm wrong in this, Howard. A shed below 10 by 10. If you bought it at Lowe's or Amish or whatever, it doesn't require anything less than 96 square feet. So if you need to store your stuff in a adjoining something and you don't want to pull a building permit to make it, et cetera, et cetera, get a small. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, you have to get a permit for your shed, the which you can yeah, do. Yeah. That's a different right, yeah, process. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if you I just like have a whole lot of garage, yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, I can see it. So, it, yeah, I mean, and, yeah. yeah, I mean, I understand. Yeah. yeah. So, Spray cans, a bottle of yeah. uh, simple green. I mean, we're not yeah. talking. Yeah, we're not talking. Now, yeah, just, we're not talking monster yeah. stuff. Well, the nursery okay, so, handy too. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so just for clarification of the record, and I know you've been talking to Ryan. Just you've been doing a little diagram and stuff. So, mm -hmm. so in this garage, you have like a wood stove. Yeah. Is there a hot tub in the garage? Yeah. Okay, so that takes up some of the space out of yeah. yeah. And you have your own personal workbench <laughs> tool that area. That's probably yeah. like sixty percent of the length of the garage. It's pretty big. Okay, Bench. and you have like other stuff you store personally in the garage as well. So five shelves. Or lots okay. Of shelves. And okay. a fridge. <laughs> All right. There you go. Toys. Couch. So, couch. Go karts. Couch. Go karts. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. So there's a lot of stuff in your garage. Yeah. Yeah. So typical. So do you understand what we're yeah. talking about? If we, if we can keep what you're going to be doing down to like the 25 percent or about 180 square feet, then from what it appears, and, and hopefully everyone's been looking at this because I'm just going over it. And, mm -hmm. And I think, uh, just so you know, with a home occupation, your sign can only be like two by two, two feet okay. by two feet. Yeah. That That's okay. the limitation of home occupation sign. Um, I mean, I don't... There are hours of operation stuff under home. I mean, there's, I believe there's some... Uh, it, um, it's generous, but... It doesn't really say hours of operation. Okay. Great, thanks. Well, don't take it, but you can. Because that's what we You know, for example, it just says, you know, that... that in no way shall the appearance of the structure be altered or any operation within the residence be conducted in a manner that would cause the residence to differ from its residential character, which are not. No mechanical or electrical equipment shall be employed other than the machinery or equipment customarily found in the home. Um, you know, compressor, vacuum, vacuum. pressure yeah. washer, all those things are normally That's around. fine. No, no outside storage of equipment or outside storage of goods. That's, that's no five cars lined up for the next right, yeah. bit. And yeah. we talked about a sign. One commercial vehicle may be used in connection with the home occupation. So if you want to put Baker's detailing on the side on of your, your vehicle, truck. Truck and park that, that's okay. You could, but just one. Okay. Um, that's fine. No use yeah. shall create noise, yeah. dust, vibration, right smell, odor, smoke, glare, electrical interference, fire hazard, or any other hazard or nuisance to any greater or more frequent to extent than usually experienced than an average residential occupancy, which, again, you're not doing anything else that would for the most part that, that you, anybody else could do in their garage for that matter. Um, home <laughs> occupation is that specifically should not be interpreted to include the following commercial stables and kennels, restaurants, musical and dancing, instruction to group exceeding four pupils, convalescent homes, mortuaries, garages, and shops for the repair of motor vehicles, and you're not doing any more vehicle no repair. repair. No, no, no. And, and other trades and businesses of a similar nature. So, yeah, I, I'm not so sure the detailing even comes under that. You're not doing body work. You're not doing repair. Yeah. Not changing oils. You're not doing any of that stuff, which would be the kind of thing that would fall under that. No, you touched on it, but I just wanted. To, what was the stipulation for signs? You can still have a sign. You can have a sign. Two, 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 okay. yeah. two by two. Okay. Two by two by two. And we still have five. <coughs> do we just that you can have that we can just do that you can do. Oh, okay. Does it have to be a certain feet from the road? Yes. He has all the okay. Yeah, you can talk to Howard about oh, that. Yeah. So, so I think ultimately, um, I mean, the, so the, in looking through the criteria, the big issue was the square footage in your house, or excuse me, in the garage. <coughs> so, um, if we have your assurances that you're going to be keeping it down to the 180 square feet, then for all intents and purposes, I think it's a permitted use. 
um, you know, there are specific things for signs and things of that nature, but if we get your insurance assurances that that's what you're going to be using, then I think they meet the criteria for home occupation, yep. which is a permitted use in that zone. And we don't have to <laughs> do anything. You guys right. just... Okay. I think, I think just for the record, you know, we, we'll make maybe that, make a motion I mean, that, somebody, that based upon the criteria... Yeah, based upon the criteria, based upon what we've heard here yeah. tonight, it, uh, it appears to the board that this would fall under a home occupational use, which is, which is, a, which which is, is a permitted, permitted use in, in the this area. One, in the R1 zone. I'll make that motion. I second it. Congratulations. Hold on. Well, not, not yet. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Slow down. Mr. Dorrance? Yes. Mr. Aubin? Yes. Mr. MD? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. And Mrs. Russell? Yes. Cool. There you go. Awesome. There you go. Okay. Awesome. Congrats. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. So when are you guys going to be open? Uh, we're going to do some get some cards made up and do some Facebook. Woods Mills detailing is the uh, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. The DDA. Good. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Thank you guys. Much. Good luck. All right. All right. Thank you guys. Right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For sure. Nice meeting you guys. Yes, you too. Yes, you too. Have a good one. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. We'll be in touch by the time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Any other business, folks? Nothing mm, for me. Nope. What can we do on that? Anything new to, we want to talk about? Do we get a name tag? Yeah. We've yes, been I'm asking. I'm going to talk to Donna about that tomorrow. I want to be the pain. Oh, no, we've been asking. No, for, we've been asking. We've been asking and asking and asking. And what do I have to ask no, somebody? No, I'll go down and talk to her tomorrow. <laughs> Just, yeah. <laughs> um, and Howard, how goes the maps? I know you were working on a bigger size. I would have them in my office if you ever need them. Okay, can we get one? Uh, they're in my office. For you don't, what's, can I get one for this room? And why not? <laughs> well, we can, but they, I'd have to order them up again from uh, county. Oh, okay. Because it's the only way I can do a good reference. Okay, then no, no, I thought you were getting more than one when you got them. That's why. I was. Well, I do have two if you want to bring one down here. It's different. There are two different types in there. You take a look at them. Oh, well, <laughs> is there one you'd like to use? <laughs> yes, I already have it right next to my... Can we get the other one for in here and would it be helpful? Could we look at it for questions like we've yeah. just asked and you know, figure things out? Yeah. That would be great. <laughs> you want to double check with whoever you have to get a blessing from to pin it to the wall. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Do we have a check off list for uh, things like that? Like if a new board member was appointed, like what oh, goes in that packet? Uh, <laughs> like, so, I would like we a don't, so, okay. yeah, I thought we did that. I thought we did that, but yeah, I, sorry, I thought we'd done you. I'll do it this week. Ryan doesn't have you don't have your you don't have the, well, the zoning rules either. Tim, can you look in yeah, your here. book and make sure that that's the complete packet though? Yeah, you know, the packet has always been pretty much nothing more than than the, the rules. rules. Yeah, and that's, uh, I didn't keep track of the yeah. couple of little section one through I section just, eleven forty. I don't know exactly. And okay, I just want to make sure nothing's missing. Date in the corner, someplace there was a. I don't didn't bring mine, but I was going to say at some points there was a nineteen ninety nine or something. At least on one of the copies. I'll have it for you by the end of the week. <laughs> yeah. What was the one thing that came, that we found something, different? Something we found different. We found something, one thing different. And it was two meetings ago. Mm -hmm. I do recall some of that. I don't remember what the difference was. Though. Maybe we could get them put up online too. So that we could just well, that uh, comes up to our famous internet person who was that was part of the job that hasn't happened for the last several years. Yeah. So that's a... That's unfortunately I can work on that. that that unfortunately falls under <laughs> the contract for the internet yeah. person. That I'm I don't know if we've given up on that. I, I hope la we go for a company. Last last that I knew, we were still that I asked, which is about two months ago when I asked the supervisor, we were still trying to get what we thought we were getting on that, and this would have been part of that initial. <laughs> 
Peace. I'll see what I can do tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nothing in there? I didn't see it, though. I, I, there was just one There minor, was one thing. Little was, tiny thing. It was a little thing. tiny thing, but... Little. Howard, do you remember from two meetings back, the little tiny thing that we found different between a couple of... The, the, the minute of uh, the zoning breaks, there was one little thing, and I don't remember whether it was a definition of a side or something. It was oh, that maybe that's what it was. It was one little minor thing that was, we had a, two different copies of, <laughs> that had just was something. That, that's something that dealt with your property, Ryan? I'm trying to remember. He didn't come for us. <laughs> Oh, you did a long, long, long time? Yeah, but not, no. No, I'm just trying to remember if that was, I can't remember now. No. We, just, we just didn't have a bill inspector in time. Yeah. Like yeah, let's go ahead and make a copy of what you find and if we discover, yeah. if we can discover something, you know, you're working off a set that you believe is <coughs> the official set of regs, correct? Yes. Okay. I can make a, how many you need them? They need two, I believe. Yeah. So probably. We will deem that the official set, since that's what the code enforcement officer is using. So at least three copies so that we have a yeah extra one. Yeah, and Kelsey and one for Kelsey's files for future yeah. copying. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that was new biz. I move we adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Sorry about being late, guys. I totally forgot about it, and then the wife came home and put me on task, and I.